If you're in St. Simons Island, you will likely see a lot of activity around the overturned Golden Ray cargo ship. 6,000 tons of rock being placed around the hole right now to slow down erosion. Our Lana Harris is in Glen County tonight with more. Yeah, and you can think of this as the ship sort of being held up by a mound underneath. We're told that the current out here is so extreme and the ship is so large that the sediment underneath the front and the back of the ship is eroding away. So there's nothing on the front and the back that's holding that ship up. So there's a lot of upward pressure right there in the middle of the ship. And that's why they've got all those rocks that they're taking out here to fix this problem. And you can see they're not big rocks. They're just one to three inches, but we're told they are heavy enough to withstand the current. And they're going to be placing 6,000 tons of rock rocks out there around the hole and hopefully that will prevent any more stress from going on to the hole. We're told that it's going to be strategically placed by dive teams, which is why it's going to take all week. It's a long process. Salvage teams actually have sensors over the ship and they can see in real time what the stresses are and that's how they were alerted to the fact that this was happening. Uh, what we're, we're, we're preventing is any structural failures uh, in the hull itself. The likelihood of the vessel like breaking apart into pieces is very remote. We're, this treatment is for is to, is to add stability underneath the ship. So again, just another step of getting this massive cargo ship out of the water. We are told that they hope to have removal plan sometime in November. Here in Jekyll Island, I'm Lana Harris, First Coast News on your side.